The uprising is in full effect, and I'm pretty sure everybody we care about is dead. It's Battlestar Galactica Day. I, I, I think I'm mistaken about everybody being dead, but certainly everyone is in, like, super precarious situations and on the verge of potential death as a good cliffhanger should be right right i don't have any idea what to expect of this episode i like on one hand i'm really rooting for the classic tv easy fix by the end of the episode everything's fine again uprising over gata's not even in trouble obviously that's unrealistic gata's for sure in trouble if he somehow survives and doesn't die in the midst of this whole Thing, you know Adama's not going to be inclined to show him mercy. I don't even know if the uprising will be over at the end of this episode, to be honest with you. Maybe this is just a shifting of circumstances that'll stay in place until the end of the series. But at the end of the series, the good guys, they win, right? But who even who even are the good guys anymore? I'm not, a, I, I can't even say with absolute certainty. My goodness, if it weren't for the fact that like, I know Colonel Ty and, and Anders and, and Tyrrell and believe in them as humans, even though they're Cylons, if it weren't for the fact that like Sharon exists, uh, I certainly would feel very, very differently. I would maybe even be on Gaeta and Zarek's side, even though I am not. Are you? Just wondering, like if you're out there and you're firmly on the side of the uprising, let me know, because that would be interesting. Should we talk about it? Or should we like treat it like Thanksgiving dinner and don't talk about sensitive issues? I don't know, but I have to find out what happens next, so let's let's get into it. Let's watch the next episode of Battlestar Galactica right fracking now. I don't know why I said it that way, but I did. Order your flight to engage the target and destroy. Roger, Galactica. Okay, not dead. Not dead, number one. Okay. In your front yard, hot dog, engage. Identify. Hot dog, dig the crap out of your ears. Engage and destroy. No. Hot dog, target in range, waiting for Raptor ID. Hot dog's a good one. This is President Laura Ross. Transmission. Oh, screw you, Gata! Don't you jam the transmission. Yeah, sir. That was the president. She's on board the target. You were given an order. Now follow it. Hot dog, stop fracking thinking and shoot. Yeah, come on, eight. Missiles missed the target. The Raptor boarded the base ship. Zarek has control of Colonial One. It's not safe. We have to jump. No. If you stay put, you give Adama a chance to save them. Give him a chance. Right? Use the fleet for cover. Give Adama some time. But what it No, Gator won't jeopardize the fleet. He doesn't have the guts now. Come on, do it! Get on the radio and call Roslyn. Tell her to come back and surrender. No. Absolutely I'll not. I'll ask you one more time, Admiral. You're the Admiral now. You, so you call up Roslyn. He's awesome. Make her laugh. This is Admiral Gata. <laughs> it is funny. I'm sorry. I'm moving into the fleet. <laughs> Battle station, stand down. That's right. Kelly, prepare for Mr. Zarek's arrival. And, and, and the attorney, and the attorney says, <laughs> He's telling jokes. <laughs> All of these people, I'm so disappointed in every single one of them. And I hope my disappointment sears their souls with shame. I'm not mad at them, just disappointed. Sneaky Tyrrell. Oh no, what has he done? The Admiral is charged with treason. The punishment for these crimes is death by firing squad. We need a lawyer to handle his defense. And you're doing it by forcing him to do it. Why, why are you doing this? For justice. Justice. How do they, in what twisted world do they think this is the way law and order and democracy and things should work? I mean, obviously it wasn't working before, but this isn't working now. This is bonkers. I will be serving as judge. I see. So we've run out of ships, Captains, then. Captains are too busy protecting their vessels from the Cylon base ship, Admiral Adama, welcomed into their fleet. You are charged with treason, By with who? desertion, with giving comfort and this aid to the joke. enemy. But I have a few minutes with Mr. Adama just to impress upon him the gravity of these charges. He knows the gravity. It's their legitimacy. That's what I question. Make it quick. I mean, I don't think... I'm sorry, I can't. I don't... I don't think Gata has a leg to stand on. Okay. I'm so sorry. Can't wait to see what he's getting up to. I brought you here because I wanted him to meet people who refuse to give up. People who have the courage to voice their dissent 
but at the end of the day, still stand by your president. He's basically asking, are you those people or not? I think you should leave now, Mr. Vice President. You. So, so, so say we all get the heck out. Love that. Shoot them. Well, as if there was any doubt, full villain mode. Horrendous. To be fair, I didn't think the quorum was that important until this season anyway, and, and so easy come, easy go as far as plot, from a plot standpoint. However, Gata, what are you going to do about this? How are you going to feel? Is this going to be your wake-up call? It's, it's murder! This is a coup that you began to take command and destroy our enemies before they destroy us. Yeah, Gata, you didn't know what you were signing up for, huh? We had the truth on our side now. The truth is told by whoever's left standing. I mean, yeah, that's accurate, but... We're jumping away. We have a chance to survive. I have thought as one of the final five, you'd have a broader vision. No one believed that we would survive the Cylon nuclear holocaust or the Hela New Caprica, but we did. We're here. Ooh, We've made this speech, baby, veritable speech. habit out of defying the odds. He will take command of this fleet again. And when that day comes, he's going to know who stuck with him and who ran. Come on, preach. Now, who do you want to be? It's more than just a love suit puppy preaching right now. She's speaking from truth and experience, and she's right, dang it. She's right. Oh, come on. Looking for a gun? Bite his leg. I don't know what that would accomplish, but... This was a hell of a ship once. Huh. Yeah. It really was. I heard your kids in that asylum. <laughs> Could have told you she was trouble. <laughs> Thanks. No. Go. Go on, Kim Jong. Go. Okay, he let him go. We only got one chance to get this right, and I'm gonna take it. That's a great spirit. <laughs> he took it. Well done. With a dummy grenade or a un. They didn't pull the pin. <laughs> Not funny. <laughs> it's a little yeah, funny. If you thought of it. Okay, take them all, including Caprica 6. Lee and Carol. Oh, Hilo, 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 Hilo. Hilo. Where, give me hand. Where is it? Tell me, tuck him. What? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my, hold up. What the frack? He just took a bullet to the neck and the back of his head. Oh. <gasps> is Anders gonna die? Lee, go! Get your father and I'll go. You, can, you can't just leave Star Starbuck and Anders here. Okay, let's move, let's move. Let's go, let's go. Okay, okay, okay. How the heck is she gonna get him to coddle without getting killed first? Why can't you just admit that you have been derelict in your duties as an officer? Not only did you give aid and comfort to the enemy, you were about to grant them access Objection. to He's every jump drive of every ship in this fleet. About to, I did it. I uh, gave them access. We just got word that time the skin jobs escaped. Anything to say, Zarek? I'm just gonna keep it to yourself. Saul Tai was killed trying to escape. Ah, lie. Great. I'm sorry. Saltai was a Cylon. And even when you discovered that he was, you let him remain the XO, didn't you? 100% yeah. You can keep your sorry and shove it up, you know. The prisoner is guilty as charged. Oh, we're offering a verdict? This is an asylum. We're done here. This is President Zara Rodman, speaking from the Cylon base ship. Felix Gator, who sees Galactica by force. Shut down your FTL drive! Show me your freaking hands! And I'm convincing myself it's a different model, a different Leoben than the one who, uh... Oh, dang! Did all the bad stuff prior to this. You have to help me get him to coddle. Nah, just on the way here. Me and my pen pal were shot at two times. Once by his own man. He's gonna die. Pen pal. <laughs> yeah, come on! Yeah, he's doing it. He's doing it. Tensium shut down their FTL drives after all this uh. transmission. Now we're clear who's with us and who's trouble. Give the jump coordinates only to those ships that kept their FTLs online. Order them to jump immediately. I think this is going to end with an, a truly split fleet. The question is who's going to have the Galactica and their control. Secure the main hangar deck launch tube. Take Adama down there and wait for me. Can I count on you, No. Come on, Kelly. Don't do this. Pick up your gun and shoot the other ones. Or take a detour. What is he doing? No, don't shoot yourself, bro. Do some good instead. Where's the old man? I mean, hangar take a launch tube. 
Yeah, 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 you don't have time to play patty cake with Kelly, who's gonna come help us anyway. So let's go. Go save your father, please. Oh my God. Detail ready? It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. Fire! fire, fire. Oh, oh, this is a dream. It's not real. You were dreaming. I couldn't wake you. I didn't think it was his dream. I'm confused. How does he always end up in these situations? Swamp, please stop. I ran. Again. Yeah, that's your MO. Are you changing? I ran away from those people. God, those people. Oh. I have to go back. Yeah. Sorry. I don't know why I'm sorry. Three o'clock. This is President Laura Roslin, return command of this fleet to Admiral William Adama. You have five minutes. What are you doing, Gata? What are you doing, Gata? Carry out the execution. Gata, I got hopeful. Why did I get hopeful? Yes, sir. <laughs> I loved that scene. That was such a great transition. I want to take back my ship. I hate the Cylons, and I can't take orders from a leader who won't fight them. Colonel, bye. Stand oh. up. Oh, mercy. Tie him up. It's over, Laura. Saltai was killed attempting to escape. Belladonna was tried and found guilty of his crimes. Firing squad executed him this morning. The surrender. No. Yeah. Do you hear me? I will use every can, <laughs> every bomb to end you. I swear it. I'm coming for all of you. How do you not be inspired by this? I mean, I feel like this moment is changing that. It's changing Caprica 6. It's changing Gaius. Like, it's changing everything. So now we have a military leader and a president all in one. And how would you have answered her? Set the rendezvous jump coordinates. I'm leaving them behind. Is is Tiro gonna stop the the FTL drive? Oh come on, he's gonna stop the FTL drive as Adama fracking fights his way into the CIC. They're taking back control. Come on, Tiro. Come on, Tiro. Jump in ten. Oh, 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 oh. Access denied? Your access is denied. Get someone down to the engine room right now. Come on, move it. Nah. Gator, wake up. What the frack are you doing? Gator, we have to defend. Do you understand that? Do you understand? It's over. Wake up! Weapons halt. <laughs> Thank you, Gator. He came to his senses just in time. Put your weapons down! Put your weapons down! Stand down. I repeat, Galactica secure. Stand down. Yes. <laughs> we can all breathe a big old sigh of relief, baby. Holy cow. Wow. Yeah, it was about a nine hour uprising, but it's over. <laughs> yeah, you can break down now. It's okay. Oh, she did so good. She did so good. There was a year there where I scribbled floor plans on everything. And <laughs> what is this? Hmm. Baltar. And then I discovered science. And I thought I was really, really good at it until I met you. <laughs> yeah, he's genius level, so. Phoenix. No. And please, no religion. I'm fine with how things have worked out. Really, guys, I am. I, I just hope people realize eventually who I am. I know who you are. Oh, is it like their version of Last Rites? He really is kind of a piece then with, with their fate. I mean, I think there was no other recourse really in the terms of who Adama is. It stopped. Fire. Uh, I don't understand why, but like 
him saying it stopped like the itching or whatever stopped pain whatever it was right before he was shot just made that 20 times more emotional wow well the last episode in this episode oh by the way i apologize full length there's um the the you know, <laughs> The interruption, you're going to know exactly when I was re- recording this episode. Um, <laughs> the interruption uh, was like the solar eclipse is happening right now. My sister thought it'd be fun to go take a look real fast. So we took a look real fast. And then I came back and I finished the episode. So anyway, between the last episode and this episode, this is top tier Battlestar Galactica. It was an amazing journey and experience and holy crapitude, maximum holy crapitude. Um, I've never said that in a crapitude in my life. Where did that come from? Uh Assuming Adama was able to get control again, there was no other option. Like with what we know about uh, Adama, and like that was that that was the end for Gata. The moment he decided to team up with Zarek, and that that happened. It's done. It is finished. And uh, at least Zarek won't be able to, you know, manipulate and do the things that he does anymore. Maybe there's a chance. We'll have a more united front, at least from a leadership perspective, moving forward. All of the feelings that the fleet... And by the way, the feelings that the fleet has is certainly justified. Obviously, I haven't been a big fan of the Cylons throughout this series. I I feel like everything is a little confused and a little bit muddled because the Cylons should be held responsible and accountable for what happened at the start of the series. Remember when the mass genocide occurred? 12 planets just gone? Countless people like just obliterated, right? Uh, That happened. The Cylons were responsible. And so that matters. But of the Cylons that are alive, who do you hold responsible? I have no idea. I have no idea. I don't even know how to begin to, to do that. I do know that the main Cylons that we know, right? They're not responsible. And so I find it complex and uncertain. And that's why I'm not against this uh, alliance. Maybe Brother Cavill's really the brains of the operation. Maybe he alone. I I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We'll get to that, I'm sure, before this series has completely run its course, right? But in terms of this episode, it just, man, again, just seeing Roslyn on board with Tori. Tori was back high with Tori and the the, the Cylon rebel ship. And just kind of them trying to navigate this. It just I enjoyed every moment of it. Every single moment. The highlight of this episode was Roslyn's speech when she became a president and a military leader all in one. And Zarek was like, I speechless. How would you have responded? I don't know. I don't know. Watching Gaeta's struggle, it was so sad as he began to realize Zarek was far more extreme than, than he intended. And what a farce of a trial. What the what the heck what the heck was that with Admiral Adama? Oh, ridiculous. Completely ridiculous. Flat out absurd. Um, but at least in, in the end, we can kind of feel like, okay, okay. The unrest, as a, back to kind of what I started with, the unrest, the feelings against the silence are still there, but we have a little bit of, of control again. Right, like maybe we can all survive this. Maybe we can find a new home home planet and you know not become extinct. But we have to stop fighting amongst ourselves. Like the survival of humanity, it kind of how are we gonna survive? What happens if we break the alliance with the Cylons and and send them back and kick them to the curb? What would they do? I actually, that's a genuine question. What would they do? Would they try to annihilate us again and kill us? Or would they, I don't know, try to survive on on their own? Assuming they're not going to regroup with the other Cylons. Maybe it's best to keep them close and keep them on our side. These are things I don't have answers for, but I'm watching very closely and I'm really excited. We have just a handful of episodes left and I'm so excited to see how the show begins its final story arcs and wrapping up. Who's the fifth Cylon? All the things. Maybe we'll find out next week. I don't know. I'll see you there. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you being here. Please check me out over on Patreon or YouTube channel memberships if you'd like to support the channel even further. Either way, I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.